everybody, it is time to shine a spotlight on local music. It's one of our favorite bands that's here in the studio today. Been a two-year effort, but their third album, Way Down, is finally here. And the Chocolatiers are celebrating life, love, and music Saturday at the Blue Opus with an album release. The band is here to give us a sneak peek. You got the full setup this time. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Well, introduce us to the Chocolatiers. A little bit about your sound. Uh, that's a good question. Mostly <laughs> like blues and alternative rock, I guess you'd call it. Um, electric guitars and drums. <laughs> and you guys are all from this area, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the pier in Green Bay. The pier in Green Bay, okay. Talk a little bit about um, what it took to get this album produced. And you, you know, there were some personal struggles along the way, and so the fact that it's here is really pretty amazing. Yeah, uh, back in uh, January of 2017, um, I, you know, um, came to uh, with my alcoholism. So, mm -hmm. and uh, was hospitalized and then got treatment at the Jackie Nitschke Center and that played a huge part in, uh, in the, this album. Yeah. So, it did. Good to have you here. Yeah, Does that you. go into some of the lyrics and the sound of the music as well? Just Yeah, I think a, a lot of the, the lyric writing um, kind of spawned out of meetings that Chris and I had and discussions mm -hmm. that we had and kind of the, the next few months mm -hmm. after that, uh, you know, during the beginning of the recovery and I guess, I don't know, we kind of took stock of a lot of things right. that we had and, and really yeah. felt uh, kind of blessed to have the opportunities that we have together and to be able to be together. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it was pretty inspiring and a lot of that comes through in some of the songs. How long has the Chocolatiers been together? Uh, since 2012. Okay. So and what can we expect years. from this album? Uh, hopefully fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a really great time uh, making yeah. it once we got rolling and uh, some of the songs are a couple older songs that we've written, uh, we wrote years ago that we've been playing live but never really put down on a, you know, on a recording. And then uh, about half of it is, is just all brand new stuff that we've written in the past year. Um, and it's, uh, it's upbeat. It's, uh, it's kind of a good mix of the, we, we had like an acoustic album at first and mm -hmm. I think our second one was more kind of electric and this one is kind of a good mix of uh, both oh. of those sounds. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little folky, a little blues, a little rock and roll. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. You're releasing the album with a big performance at Blue yep. Opus. What can people expect from that? And if they haven't been to the venue, describe it a bit. Uh, the Blue Opus is great. It's over uh, on Bellevue Street. Um, it is family, southern, southern, family friendly, fam southern oh, uh, cuisine. cuisine. Yeah, they have uh, good designed, food, they designed, I understand. Yeah, designed the building for music, which is great. Um, and great food. Um, uh, always sounds great in yeah, there. Bill and um, the staff there are, are tremendous. So. Yeah, and our time's like 7 to 10. We've got a couple of opening acts. Oh, um, yeah. And we've got Jerry Sloan as an MC okay. to kind of moderate the <laughs> night. So that'll be a lot of fun. He's a, um, a friend of ours. Actually, his voice is on the yep. album as well oh, on one of the tracks. So. Well, thank song? you for, oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Thanks for sharing your story. Oh, that's such an important anytime. conversation to have in the community. Mm -hmm. What song are we going to hear? Song 64. Uh, okay. It was written a few years ago by Colin and myself. And, uh, uh, just something we've always been playing, and um, in the studio, we did have uh, William Hill uh, playing trombone, and we had a few guest vocalists, Jerry Sloan being one of them. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that's it. It's uh, it's a fun one. All right. Well, we're gonna step over the amps, and I love that they have a full <laughs> setup here in the studio, so you get a true taste on what the Chocolatiers sound like. There are the details on their show, and go ahead, guys, take no it away. No cover charge. All right. I would like to dedicate this uh, performance this morning to Mr. Jim Kress, who passed away earlier this week. He was a huge supporter of the uh, arts and music community here in Green Bay, and he'll be dearly missed.